So how does the M1 MacBook Air perform with over 50 tabs open? Let's find out. Welcome back to the channel. We have a fun one today. So I get asked this all the time. Does the base model M1 MacBook Air still work in 2024? Should I buy one? I get asked this all the time. So I have one right here. It's the base model. It's the M1 MacBook Air. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a fun test today. So we're going to go ahead and open up some, you know, a bunch of tabs to begin with. But we're going to work our way up to about 50 different tabs in Safari. I'm going to open them up. Some of the biggest websites out there like ESPN and all that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna see how the performance is of the computer at when we have 50 tabs open. So also I'm gonna be showing you my activity monitor, showing you some of the swap it's using early on, and then when we get up to 50 tabs, how much swap it's using. I'm guessing it's gonna be a ton. Um, but we're gonna see if you can still use the computer at that point, and if it's still usable. And this should answer the question. This should answer the question if you're a normal user and you just need email and you have gotta open up tabs and you wanna watch YouTube and stuff like that. And will this work? I mean, 50 is kind of an extreme number. I don't think a lot of people are opening 50 at once. I know people do, but I think it's less, you know, less common than you think. Overall, though, this is just a quick test. We're going to find out how this thing performs when we get all these tabs open. I think it'll be a fun test, and it should answer some questions. How good this thing is, it's pretty good. All right, we're going to share my screen here. Over here, you can see I have Activity Monitor open. I have a couple apps. I'm recording this. That's obviously taking some memory. But if I'm in the physical memory right now, you can see right off the bat, um, I got eight gigs right here. It's, it's memory use is 5.26. There's no swap going on right now. You can see it there. I have 2.7, two gigabytes uh, cache files. So nothing's being swapped right now. So I actually have a text file over here. And I got, look at this, I got 60 here, but I'm gonna open up 50 first. So I'm gonna just start opening these things open. First, what I wanna do here is let me go ahead and move this over here. And then I'm gonna move this over here just so I can may, maybe open these up a little bit easier. And I'm gonna open up, you know, let's just go ahead and open up, first of all, 10 different tabs here. So I got Google open. I'm gonna open up North Face, right? I'm gonna open up NFL.com here. Let me just open that one up. I'm gonna to go to 9 to 5 Mac. We're gonna open up that one. Then I'm gonna go over here to Bing. We're gonna open up that one. Then we're gonna to go to Best Buy. We're gonna open up that one. Then we're gonna to go to Micro Center, open up that. Amazon, Yahoo and Facebook. So we got 10 tabs open right now. You can see all these up here. They're all open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's go back over here. So now down here, let's take a look what we have going on. We still got eight, eight gigabytes of physical memory right here. You can see it. Memory use, 5.94, so still no swap there. So even with all these tabs open, Again, 10 of them, we have zero swap right now. So that's pretty, you know, obviously other apps are gonna work fine right now. So let's keep moving forward. All right, so if you look back over here now, I have 20 open right now. So there's 20 tabs open over here, all different you know, websites. We got LinkedIn, Netflix, more common sites, Walmart, different sites like that. So overall, these are pretty robust, robust sites. I can't say that right. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at the swap here. Still, we're up to about 6.33 gigabytes of memory used. You can see it right there out of the eight. Still zero swaps with those 20 tabs open. Let's keep going higher. All right, we got 30 different tabs open right now, and then we're gonna start some applications in a second, but let's take a look at this. We still haven't even reached the limit yet. You can see your physical memory right here, if I'm in activity monitor down here, with all of these tabs open, 30 of them, mind you, 30 of them, we are only using 6.62 gigabytes of, of, of uh, memory used right now, and the swap is still zero, which is actually pretty shocking to me. This is, this is pretty surprising, actually. I usually think, you know, usually the swap's starting to get used about this time, so let's keep pushing it. All right, this is interesting. So now we have 40 different tabs open. Let me go ahead and show you over here. Here, here they are over here. Um, let me go ahead and show you on my screen here. You can see I opened up all these up here. So these 40 up here, I just opened up Twitter, Brave.com, Priceline, Hotels, Delta, Airbnb. So all those are open over here, 40 different tabs. Now let's go ahead and look over here now. So what do we have? It looks like the swap is finally starting to get used after 40 tabs open. You can see down here, swap is 655 megabytes right now. We're using memory use 7.12 gigabytes, but still, I mean, it's just starting to get used at 40 of these tabs open right now. And, uh, you know, that's not too bad if you think about it, right? 40 tabs completely open, and we're just now getting into swap. And these, again, I'm not going to, like, you know, sub-sites. I'm going to the main home pages of these sites. And these are all robust main kind of channel sites that use a lot of RAM, you would think. Unfortunately or fortunately, it's doing really good, I guess. But it's still, unfortunately, using a little bit of swap now. So let's go to 50 now. 
All right, we did it. Now we're at 50 total tabs open, all different websites, not the same, none of them are the same sites. And if we look over here, eight gigs of total physical memory, that's all I have. Right now it's only 877.4 megabytes of swap being used, so just under a gigabyte of swap. You can see not much has changed here, which is pretty crazy. I'm thinking, I'm not sure why it's doing this. I mean, it's really holding its own better than I thought. So, but is this usable? So now that we have 50 tabs open, let's go ahead and just uh, minimize some of the stuff in here, right? Just like this, we'll leave that open for now. So let's just say I wanted to go in here and do a document. So I just clicked on pages. Now what's gonna happen, you're gonna notice off the bat, when it doesn't have a lot of RAM, you can see it takes a little bit longer to open up the application, all right? So I'm gonna click on this, but overall I'm just gonna click new document. All right, you can see that I'm in pages right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and just type something in here. You get the idea though, let me just show you. So basically once you get in here, it takes a little bit longer to load just because of the fact that you have all those tabs open. But look at this, I'm going ahead and I'm pasting in you know, tons of stuff in real time, look how fast this is. There's gonna be no stuttering or anything like that. What I would get at is you know, once the app opens up, this is totally usable, you could create a paper on this, you could do whatever you wanna do in here and it's not gonna cause any problems, everything's very responsive. Let's check our, let's go down here and we're gonna check our swap memory now, see what we do with the activity monitor. Now that we have that open, it still hasn't changed that much. In fact, some of the memory's actually gone down. So we can see that we're still using about 800, somewhere roughly in there, megabytes of swap, even with this app open. So let's keep pushing it a little bit further. Let's go ahead and open up the App Store. We're gonna go in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize that, just have that open there for a second. All right, so here it is. It went up to about 920 right now, but we're still doing okay. So let's go ahead and push this a little bit further. I'm gonna go ahead now and open up 60 tabs. All right, so we're finally kind of getting in where we're starting to push the limit of it at 60. So if you look over here, I'm at 60 tabs open, all individual websites. Now we're using about 1.6 of gigabytes of swapped used, right? And we're up to 60 different tabs open. But we also have pages open, we got the App Store open, and uh, we have Safari open. I'm actually tape recording this, obviously. So over here I have, what do I have open? I have uh, QuickTime Player open. So I have all these different apps open, and this thing is still going. All right, now I'm just gonna open up Keynote really quickly. So I'm gonna, I went ahead and clicked on it right here. And let's just see. So look at it, it's gonna take a couple seconds now to load, but it wasn't too bad, all right? So I'm gonna click on this, and uh, we're gonna click New Document here. I'm gonna go in here, New Presentation. But look at this, I mean, I can go in here, nothing is stuttering on me, so I can go ahead and click on everything. Look how fast everything's typing in. Everything's perfect down here. I've tested this out, you know, off, off camera here. It's super responsive. So now, you know, now we actually have this open as well. And it's pretty crazy that we have another app open and we're still pushing this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and check Activity Monitor now here. And let's just see what we have now, now that we got another app. So now we're up to about 1.85 of swap. Now it's using more of the swap on the drive, but obviously it's not really slowing a lot down. So what have we learned today? Well, the moral of the story is, if you're not doing like really high-end stuff like video editing, this thing, 60 tabs open, five or six different applications at once, there's really no slowdown at all, all right? We're not really reaching the limits with 60 different tabs and they're not even the same website, they're all different sites. So that's pretty incredible just on its own, right? Overall though, you're not gonna run into too many slowdowns. Things take a little bit longer to load and stuff like that. You are using about two, uh, 1.8 gigabytes of swap, which is gonna eventually deteriorate your hard drive maybe a little bit more than you want it to, but still, it's a great system. Unless you're doing really high-end four, six, 8K video editing, this thing can still handle it. Even with the eight gigs, it's just gonna take a long time. You're gonna get stuttering sometimes, but overall, you wanna get a faster system for that kind of stuff, or if you're doing professional work. But you can see that for most people right now on 2024, this thing can handle at least 60 tabs, five or six applications, no slowdown, and we're using about you know less than two gigabytes of swap memory. And like I said, you can debate if that's gonna eventually cause some issues to the hard drive. I think it's gonna take an ultra long time in these hard drives if that's the case. Overall though, 16 gigs is my preference. Like I said before, I've said it in the other videos, but can it do it? I think I proved it, yes. And uh, at the end of the day, you tell me in the comments, you, you know, obviously I could keep going, maybe I'll do some more tests in the future on this, but I think this proves one thing, they're still pretty viable for 750 bucks and the M1 chip is still pretty powerful. We'll talk to everybody soon, I hope you guys like these videos, peace.